BBK 70 millimeter throttle body I have here today is a good option for any of my 94 and 95 five liter owners out there that are looking to squeeze every last bit of power out of their naturally aspirated or forced induction motor. Now when it comes time to install this, expect a very easy one out of three wrenches in our difficulty meter here, about an hour job and we need basic hand tools. We're gonna show you how coming up soon. So when it comes to moving air into and out of your 5.0, there are a few general rules here, guys. Cold airs, throttle bodies, and intake manifolds coming in, and you got long tubes and a cap back moving in and out. But some parts have a tendency to move air more effectively like long tubes compared to a pair of mufflers. Now, if you've done both, and you also have some other air or exhaust mods, then you're literally looking at where your power bottleneck is, and it's usually the stock restrictive throttle body. Now, while throttle bodies aren't mods that make gobs of power on their own, when paired with the aforementioned modifications, they really will add more power that can't be found elsewhere, and in the long run, we're all hunting for bigger numbers, right? So. The Mustang's factory throttle body comes in at around 56 millimeters, and BBK's here is gonna be a 70 millimeter. Now, while the bigger diameter sounds like a small upgrade, it's actually a big step in the right direction, but bigger doesn't necessarily mean better on its own here. If your motor's completely stock, this is not gonna do much for you, but if you're investing in exhaust pieces or an air intake, maybe an intake manifold or even other power adders, that OEM throttle body will quickly become a bottleneck. Now this throttle body fixes that. It's gonna free up that extra air to your motor needs to take advantage of those other mods. Now looking at the construction a little bit for you, this throttle body is made from a permanent mold casting of 356 grade aluminum to produce a higher quality casting than a conventional sand mold, which reduces porosity for an improved finish. And while we are on the finish, this does have a pretty nice looking polished look that is gonna fit well under any hood. Now it's worth pointing out a couple things here, guys. One, this is not a tune required part, meaning that you can simply install it and hit the ground running, not have to pick up a four bank eliminator chip, but we're always gonna recommend doing it. Now two, this is more of a recommendation for me and everybody else here at American Muscle. And like I said a little bit earlier, if you're gonna do the throttle body here, it's really best to pair this at least with a colder intake to really yield those gains. But that being said, BBK's 70 millimeter throttle body by itself costs only around 220 bucks, which will make this about 70 bucks more than the SR Performance offering. And your main differences here are merely going to be the manufacturing process and the brand name. Now this throttle body is precision CNC machined while the SR Performances is cast, which is generally a little bit less expensive to produce. And when it comes time to the installation, just like I had said a little bit earlier, guys, expect a very easy one out of three wrenches on our difficulty meter here and about an hour job only needing basic hand tools like a socket set. And you'll wanna start by removing the negative battery terminal followed by the hose from the throttle body to the air intake, then detach the three cables to the throttle linkage followed by unplugging the throttle body sensor as well as the idle air control sensor. At that point, you can then remove the four nuts holding the factory throttle body onto the intake manifold with a 13 millimeter wrench or socket. Now you can then remove the factory IAC and throttle position sensor. And once they're off, it's going to be a great idea to clean the IAC with a little bit of carb cleaner before you throw it back on. Now you'll then install the throttle position sensor and IAC onto the new throttle body. So with the supplied gasket, you'll install the new throttle body onto the intake manifold and secure it with the factory nuts and torque them down to spec. Now once you're done there, you'll then reattach the linkages to the throttle body and plugs onto the TPS and idle air control. So once you're done there, you can then install the hose back onto the new throttle body, then connect your negative battery terminal. And once you're done there, you're gonna wanna fire your car up and then adjust the idle by turning the idle screw. Now if that doesn't change the idle, just adjust the throttle position sensor until you're where you need to be. So that's gonna wrap up my quick review and breakdown of BBK 70 millimeter throttle body fitting the 1994-95 5 liter Mustang. That can be found right here at AmericanMuscle.com.